Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Denise and I'm Dear Designs. Um, this week is going to be a very short episode, vlog, whatever you want to call it. Um, I really haven't got that much to show. Um, I showed you my sock, no, I showed you my short and hat last week. Um, uh, the only things that I've got to show uh, this week are socks. Sorry. <laughs> um, but I have finished my second pair of socks. Well, initially these are my third pair, um, but the first pair were bed socks or like indoor socks because they were made with not sock yarn, it was just a four ply baby yarn. Um, far too thick for wearing in shoes and they had no nylon. So I'm classing these as my second proper pair. <laughs> um, really really happy with these uh, this is the yarn drops fable this is in the color 159 oh 159 um, really really enjoyed making these these were out of the simply knitting magazine and it was just a cut out thing that I had <clears throat> Um, so I can't give you any details on what issue, what issue number it was out of. It was just called Simple Socks. Um, and they were just simple socks. Um, I will give you a brief description of how I did it. Um, I did a one by one twisted rib. Um, it was cuffed down. Um, a one by one twisted rib, then knitted until the heel flap and gusset. Knitted along and did a rounded toe. So quite simple. But um, because I'm still a newbie at knitting socks, that is that. Um, excuse me for just having like a, it is a proper vest top, but I'm so hot. Um, this morning I got up and I rushed over Tesco to get some stuff for dinner tonight because we're having slow cooker curry. I was going to put it on, um, realised I had no peppers and I was like, um, <laughs> so I had to go out and um, quickly run over there um, so yeah that's why I'm hot I could just oh fan myself I have got the window open right behind you so if you hear any noise I do apologize um, but yeah back to the socks heel flap and gusset hmm I enjoyed doing it I really did uh, I do have a tiny little hole here um, and a tiny little hole there uh, and both and the same on these these this pair as well obviously I'm still new at doing it so that doesn't bother me I have actually um, got here my um, first pair of socks I have worn these a couple of times so they have been washed in the washing machine they are fine. There's nothing wrong with them. Uh, let me just put them on the blocker. I have shown these on the blockers before. I don't wet block my socks. They go on my feet. Um, they stretch. So I don't wet block them. Let's see. And these blocking things I got from eBay. Quite cheap. I think they were £1 something. I didn't want to go and buy expensive sock blockers and then realise I really don't like knitting socks. So, these, I think these are a bit small as well, these sock blockers, because they leave everything a bit baggy. <laughs> um, these were toe up design. Um, yes, toe up with a short row heel, slip stitch heel. Where did I get this pattern from? I can't remember now. Um, <laughs> how, how naughty is that? Um, this is a toe up. I think it was just a standard toe up with one of those heels. And as you can see, I have got like little holes. These are clean. I've just literally got them off of the clothes horse. Um, the clothes horse ha actually sits here. Um, so I've just shoved it out the way. <laughs> um, because obviously the heater's behind me. The heater isn't on at the moment. But um, it's just the... It's out the way then, it's sort of in the corner of the room. But, so these have been worn twice. And they're still perfect. There's nothing wrong with them. Um, so yeah, I'm really, really enjoying making socks at the moment. Okay, so that's that. That's still a bit damp, so I'll chuck that back on there. 
um, that's that. That is my finished pair of socks. The next uh, thing I'm making is the Rose City Rollers. Um, now, when I started this, this is a free pattern from Ravelry. It's by Martha, Mara Catherine Briner. Um, when I started this, these are done on a 2.25 millimeter. Um, I only have 2.5 millimeter needles, um, the pony ones. I do have 2.25 in wooden. That's what I started off with. But to be honest, I thought my stitch count of 64 on a 2.5 is quite good for me. So I thought I would carry on with my 2.5 and my 64 stitch count. Now this is a 56, a 64, a 72 cast on stitches. So I just thought I'd do the 64 stitches. Um, but before that I thought, well, let me try the 72 because um, round the gusset it is a tiny little bit tight. Um, not, not tight but the stitches stretch a little bit. So I thought I would try 72 stitches. Well, I did about that much and I put it on my ankle and it was baggy and I thought, no, I'm going to rip this back because I'm not going to be happy with it. Um, it's such lovely yarn, I'm not going to chance not having a pair I can't wear. So anyway, yes, the yarn I am using is Soul to Soul. Oops, hooper daisy. Um, Soul to Soul by Serda. This was a Christmas pre a birthday present from my lovely sister. It's the shade 0160. I'm really sorry about the light. Um and this is how much I've got done so far. Now with these, obviously they are only shorty socks. Um, excuse the uh, wire, let me just push that back because I was gonna start another row yesterday, um, but I'll show you why I didn't finish it. I have to do a little bit of um, jiggery pokery as they call it, um, but I'll explain in a moment so just get them back on the actual needle so oh <laughs> this is the cuff as you can see let me turn it round so yeah this is the cuff the heel and the heel is a slip one knit one heel or slip stitch heel um, I haven't done one of those yet so uh, looks really nice and then I'm just literally finished the uh, gusset decreases now I'm on to the foot but um, this yarn it's lovely absolutely love the colors um, feels really nice for a sock yarn obviously sock yarn isn't the softest in the world but um, look what I came across last night not happy. I had emailed them about half past 11 last night. Um, this is the second one I've come across in this yarn. Um, <clears throat> the first one was right at the beginning so I just cut that out. This is the second one that I've come across and it is such an abrupt colour change. Um, the colour changes have not been like that. Um, I'm just trying to see if you I probably not can you see that dark a little bit there that is a color change as you can see that stitch there is the bottom one and then it goes up into this top color here um, and I think the purple is like that as well yeah so I did email them I sent them a picture of that as well and this was about half past 11 last night I've got up this morning and I've had a reply from them to say we're ever so sorry we're gonna send it off to um, our customer service team or to investigate um, and if they, I could send my address they will send me a new ball um, I haven't got they haven't got the same die lot but um, now I don't don't do it a lot. I didn't expect them to say we'll send you out a new ball. Um, I just wanted to let them know that 
there's obviously a problem with this ball could it be the whole die lot they might have more people emailing in um but for them to send me a new ball is thank you very much Sirdar. um i know their customer service is really really good so um yes i'm going to carry on with this but what i'm going to do is i'm going to chop that and then i'm going to start the next row just like it would would be a new color i think because that knot I did knit up to that knot and that knot was showing on the outside it wasn't tucking on the inside and I thought no I don't want it like that it's going to be on the underneath of the foot as well so I might be able to feel it um, if I just start at the corner like a new colour then hopefully it will be okay so I'm just going to probably undo that knot which to be honest if I can sit here now I could probably undo there you go <laughs> that's that easy undoing that knot was um i'm gonna undo that because this morning i was like oh, i could do some of socks no i can't i have to undo the knot <laughs> um i didn't realize it was gonna be that easy <laughs> it's crazy but that's what i've been working on um i haven't really been in the mood for any crochet or any other knitting i haven't been in the mood for um i don't know i've lost my crojo Hmm, I really have I think. Um, I don't know whether it's the time of year. Um, I've been really busy helping my friend with her um, her business. Um, and I will tell you what a little bit about it. It's, she makes handmade gemstone jewellery, genuine gemstone jewellery. Um, her shop is now open. Um, she has a few things in there. We got a few things up yesterday. Um, it's called Tomfoolery by Tina. Um, and that is on Etsy. We've only set up the Etsy page for now. Um, she wants to do a Facebook page as well, but um, these things take time and we're getting there slowly. Um, also, talking about Etsy, Friday evening, uh, last Friday, I actually made my first Etsy sale. So I was ecstatic. I was so happy. I was around a friend's house and I was jumping around going, yes, I've sold something, I've sold something. Um, so it was the lovely Janet. I don't know whether you watch my channel, Janet, um, but thank you very much if you do. She's in America and I sent them off um, on Saturday morning, so they should be with you soon. Um, I am checking the tracking as well. I have sent it uh, tracked and signed. So fingers crossed. It should be with you very soon. Um, if you've noticed, I've actually filming this a day early, just because I'm going back around my friend's house tomorrow to upload more on her Etsy shop. Um, <clears throat> been a very busy week this week with um, doing Etsy, taking pictures and setting up different things. Um, so I'm going to do a little bit of work on my Etsy shop today. Um, I haven't made anything new this week just because I've been quite busy um, as you can tell I haven't got any knitting <laughs> or crochet done um, the other thing that I wanted to show was my temperature blanket not because I've made any progress on it because I can't remember if I told you or not I can't remember <clears throat> um, I have run out of this lovely colour here and this green here so these two colours I've run out of one is called Clementis, Clementis, and one is called Meadow. I went to the market last Thursday, and I brought, they, he didn't have the colours that I needed. So I bought what I thought was a close match, and I got them home and was like, oh dear, they're not close. <laughs> um, sorry for the rustling. I got this which is not too bad of a colour because this was the closest he had. So, it's a lot more purpley. Um, the only only other way of doing it is ordering from Derrimores, paying postage and waiting weeks on end probably for their delivery. Um, and I don't really want to be doing that. Um, I did look on Derrimores to see if there was anything else that I wanted and to be honest there wasn't and I'm not going to waste my money on stuff that doesn't catch my eye. So that was the purple and this was the green. <laughs> um, completely different colour. So.
so I will show you. <laughs> um, I don't know what was going on in my head, really. So, can you see? Completely different green. Com completely, completely different. Um, this is Meadow, and this one is called Teal. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I... I might use that other purple. This green, I think, is just way out and not right. So, I just don't know what to do. Give me some advice on what I should do with my temperature blanket. I don't know whether to carry on with these colours. I don't know whether to... Um, I have this much of the green left. It's completely different. Um, and I think I've completely run out of the purpley colour which I think I'm still attached to. Um, I'm not sure. No, I'm, I'm attached to the green now. Um, yes, I'm attached to the green, sorry. Um, <clears throat> it's ever so long, <laughs> really, really long, is gonna do us uh, quite good for the cold weather. Um, so I've come to a stop with that at the moment because I just don't know Sorry for waving this around in your face. Um, I really don't know what to do with the colours. Um, yeah, I just, <laughs> I don't know. Um, give me some advice, please. Whether you would order from Derrimore just for two balls of yarn. Um, I don't know anywhere else near me that does Stylecraft. Hobbycraft doesn't do Stylecraft, I know that. Um, yeah, nowhere else around me does Stylecraft, so, mm. yeah, so I'm a, I've got a bit of a, of a dilemma, and I don't know whether that's made me lose my crojo a little bit, because I was so excited to get some of that done, got home, and it was the wrong colour. So, yeah, I'm going to stop rambling, because I have nothing really else to say, um, other than, thank you for watching. Thank you for coming back if you are a returning viewer. Uh, thank you for joining me if you are new. I have had a jump in my subscribers, so thank you very much for subscribing. Um, normally my episodes are a little bit more exciting than this. <laughs> um, this week I just have been extremely busy, and I wanted to get a video up no matter what. I know it's a day early. Um, normally it's a Friday my videos go up, but I thought I would do it today as I'm at home. And tomorrow I won't have any more done other than probably a little bit more of that sock. So it's not really, um, I'm, I, you're not losing out on a day of progress really. So anyway, I'm going to go and get on with um, a little bit of Etsy work. Uh, I don't really know what I'm going to be doing. Uh, so yeah. And if you are watching my other channel, then um, I am doing weekly vlogs. So if you're interested in seeing what I do during the week, what I get up to, um, it is just literally what I'm doing. I do show my knitting, my crochet. I show if I'm out and about on everything, basically. So if you're interested in that, go check that out. Um, the links are down below, or the link is down below. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching, and I shall see you next week. Bye for now.